So we may have already done a huge deep dive into all of the biggest user facing changes brought in Android 11, but there are some really underrated features that we think deserve some recognition. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Of course, not everything is created equally and the features that were added in Android 11 are no exception. Quite a few people were pretty disappointed in the late 2020 OS upgrade, which we think is a little harsh, but sometimes understandable. There are still over 40 user facing changes that will enhance your everyday experience, but these are some of the most underrated Android 11 features that you might not have even tried or noticed yet since upgrading. Being able to check your entire notification history in a user friendly subsection is a feature you probably didn't use all too often, but it's still a really underrated feature within Android 11. While this actually isn't technically new, it is a new UI that helps you navigate and see a log of every app, game or anything else that has notified or pinged your device. The old notification log wasn't particularly organized or categorized in the same way, making this a more powerful tool if you missed a notification or want to see when it just arrived. With COVID-19 exposure notifications now part of the system, it actually might be a powerful safety tool too. It's amazing how quickly you can become accustomed to the Android gesture navigation method. It's less amazing though how overly responsive or unresponsive they can be depending on just how you hold your phone. Thanks to the added ability to tweak and adjust the sensitivity settings on the left and right sided swipe back gestures, at least you can now make tweaks that will suit your usage patterns. This might prove especially useful if you are an avid screen protector user and want to make sure your display is protected without inhibiting your usability. We'll concede that this one is pretty long overdue too. Screen recording is nothing new in Android, but it is technically new at a system level in Android 11. So finally, after years of the feature being available on other Android devices, this native screen recording option is now built into the core Android OS. The sheer weight of expectation makes this both an overrated and underrated new addition in Android 11, and that is a weird thing to say considering this has been expected for so long. At this point, you have probably moved on and don't even care. However, not having to download a separate application is still a really nice bonus that will probably get overlooked, especially if you do screen record quite frequently. The keyboard autofill option is another neat everyday usability feature that doesn't seem like a big addition on face value, but ends up being one of the best new inclusions. Not having an intrusive pop-up menu for entering your pre-configured login details and passwords helps streamline the experience when on the web or in an application. Because it's baked directly into your keyboard, it feels more cohesive if you do use the native Gboard on Pixel devices. That said, we think it's definitely an underrated component in probably the best Android keyboard out there. Plus, it saves time too. Now you might think it would be weird to take a screenshot of the app carousel, but no, in actuality, this grabs a screenshot of the application currently in view. That means that to take a screenshot of any application you currently have open, you don't actually technically need to even open said application. As a time saver, this is really a properly underrated Android LM feature, and it might not be something you are doing right now, but give it a try and we think you'll find it's more useful than you first realized. Say goodbye to that annoying 4 gigabyte video limitation when recording video on Android as it has been lifted in Android 11. There are still some weird quirks, but you should be able to record at higher resolutions or 1080p without having annoying arbitrary limits and potentially losing out on milliseconds of footage when the file separates into multiple clips. For those that record a lot of video, this will be a great way to ensure that your memories are saved correctly. Travel might be far down most people's agendas during a global pandemic, but the ability to maintain your Bluetooth connections when toggling airplane mode is amazing in practice. For instance, you might want to get rid of distractions and find the do not disturb mode doesn't quite cut it, but you're enjoying a podcast playing in the background. Well, this little tweak is a really nice usability feature that shows Google cares about the little details in its mobile OS. Not being met with complete silence because your headphones or speaker have disconnected when toggling airplane mode is criminally underrated under 11, and we think you will love using it. Worried about giving a random app permission to access your camera or microphone, and worried it might be overstepping the mark with regard to your privacy? Well, worry no more as applications you haven't used for an extended period will now have their permissions revoked automatically. When you launch said application again, or after a preset period of time, you'll need to re-enable your permission preferences. 
This may seem like overkill on the surface, but is an important privacy control. Plus it acts automatically to help keep your personal data completely private. When you're having issues with your Wi-Fi connection or when connecting to a Wi-Fi network you use regularly, Android 11 now includes some added functionality to help streamline and enhance the process. The auto reconnect option is most useful if you have multiple networks within one space and want preferential connections to one specific network. You can also quickly disconnect and connect to networks much quicker thanks to a new toggle. This might not seem like an important option, but if you have issues with your device connecting to the wrong networks, we think it's a real bonus and one you really love having in Android 11. Hey, we love the always on display on Pixel devices, but when you want to unwind or just get a good night's sleep, it can be pretty annoying. With that in mind, you might not want to disable the always on display except for during the evenings. If you do use bedtime mode in conjunction with the clock application, you're now able to disable your always on display during your bedtime mode schedule. It might not seem like a big deal, but when you're distracted enough by your smartphone display during the day, it's actually a refreshing addition and really easy to toggle. So those were 10 of our favorite or top Android 11 features that you might consider underrated or not quite as appreciated as they probably should be. That said, do you have any of your own underrated Android 11 features since upgrading? If so, be sure to leave us a comment down below this video. But until next time, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.